Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of somebody who has is looking really back at how far they've come in a situation. This is definitely an energy of a wounded warrior. There's been some struggles in this situation, but there's almost this desire to not want to give up. But it's like, it's, it's difficult. I do see someone here who is still holding the torch, still having faith. But at the same time, they are a bit worried about the direction that things are going in. This person may be wanting to put up some sort of boundaries as well. So this is definitely someone who is um, trying to be strong, even though it's hard. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Taurus. <clears throat> okay, so the first card we have is the Six of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, you have the King of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, so with that Six of Cups, there is definitely an energy here of somebody who does hold a torch for you because you also have that nine of wands. There's something about the situation that this person doesn't want to give up on. It's like they feel very nostalgic. This could be what keeps them going. These feelings or these memories more of more positive times. It's like something here is keeping this person from giving up on the situation. This is definitely someone who's being patient and it's like they have a soft spot. This is someone who is like you tug at their heartstrings in some way and I do see them holding on uh, very tightly. This this person has intense feelings um, when it comes to the situation. Um, there is this energy with this death, death and rebirth energy of somebody not wanting to let go of the situation. I do see this person wanting to transform the situation though, because it does look like there's been a lot of obstacles, but this person is still holding on and they still have faith. This is someone who is even embodying some sort of unconditional love. With the Six of Cups, they could feel a soulmate connection as well. So this is definitely someone who's not willing to give up. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for us. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a bold energy. This is forward movements. This is optimism. So there is definitely somebody here who is 
confidently um, claiming this situation. There's this energy here of somebody who um, they believe in this. They are quite confident that the love here is mutual and that it's something that shouldn't be given up on. So I do see this person holding on here um, very faithfully. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Taurus. Okay, so the first card we have is the Eight of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, you have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. And finally, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is Earth Energy. So again, with this um, Eight of Cups, there's this energy here of somebody who you may have some sort of history with this person whereby you guys may have walked away from each other, um, but there's this return energy. It's like this person is coming up here as this Knight of Wands. So this could be an on and off um, situation, um, but I do see this person is like, they to them, this is something they want forever. This is something they, they want to hold on to. But it's like also they, they see you as a bit of a mystery in some way when it comes to your emotions with the High Priestess here. This person does feel like there's a spiritual connection here. Um, um, a lot of things haven't been said out loud or, you know, a lot of things have been communicated um, through some sort of intuitive, on an intuitive level when it comes to the situation. But this person has the belief that you guys are going to end up together. Um, there's this belief that um, intuitively you guys just know that you guys are each other's end goal. This is how this person is viewing the situation. Um, but it's, this, it's almost like this hasn't been clarified um, in the 3D with the high priestess there. Um, but this person definitely does want to be more generous with you. I do see them being very um, patient with you as well. Um, they're embodying a very emotionally mature energy with that King of Cups, but also controlling their emotions as well. And holding space for you is what I'm seeing from this person. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, um, Taurus. So the card says it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So this person definitely, there's this energy of someone who's been feeling nostalgic. And with the the um, Knight of Wands, this is an action-oriented energy. So there is something this person could be expressing or um, wanting to move this forward. It's like this person does want to light a fire here. They want to um, act on some sort of spark here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Taurus. So the card says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this person does see you as a soulmate. They feel a soulmate connection here. They have this, this intuitive feeling that this is the person for them. They This is how they feel. This person feels this very deeply. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Taurus. So the card says, Delis, Venice Mallow, delicate fleeting beauty. When life is not coming up roses, look to the wind, look to the weeds and find the beauty hidden within them. So this person is definitely being patient here. There's this energy here of things having been a bit tough. There's been a bit of a rough patch, but this person is still holding on to hope. This person still has this, um, it's like they're seeing the bigger picture here. They still are believing in something great here and still holding space for this love. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.